Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been like two weeks since I posted a video um, and that's because I still have this cast on so it's been really hard to record or really do anything that I could put on the YouTube channel. Um, so if you guys remember when I put my coilovers on I actually dropped the old strut onto my CV axle boot and put a little tear in it. Um, so I ordered up a new boot. I actually got the one for the 2007 STI. I'm hoping it's going to be the same thing because that's the only one I could find. Um, but we're going to throw a new boot on and that way I can drive the car without it spitting grease everywhere. Um, but yeah, without further ado, got the car out of the garage ready. And, uh, to this side, so we're going to take that wheel off, pull the CV axle out and, uh, yeah, replace that boot. Not sure why that last section didn't record but we need to mark this camber bolt where it is on the coilover so we don't have to realign it even though this thing's not aligned at all if you have a camber bolt two camber bolts then uh, you got to do the bottom one too but the bottom one's fixed on mine so yeah we can go ahead and remove these two bolts i think they're both 19 mil um and then pound those out once you get this off essentially we'll just push the cv axle out like that and then uh yeah, we just gotta pull it out from the transmission side. Just unbolt your little ABS sensor back here. So it's a bit tough to get the axle out of the hub on this side. So I like to turn the wheel all the way to the left and then you can kind of pry it out. It's kind of hard to show on video, but as you can see, almost got it all the way out and uh, we just got to drop it down now. So uh, let me do that real quick. Be right back. All right, so we're free on this side. So you can see we're good to go. Um, now, I think this slit is underneath it right now, but we'll be able to see that in a second. So now what I'm gonna do is take this pry bar and when you go to the trans side, you're just going to stick the pry bar behind the axle, give it a little pop, and it'll come free. So you can see where the axle kind of goes into the, the trans there. You're just going to stick the pry bar in that little crack, and then you'll be able to pop it free. So I'm going to do that real quick. Five seconds later, that's what it looks like when you pop it out. So, let me get out of the car. Now I should be able to just pull the axle out. I just gotta move the brake and then we can pull that out. Okay, so we got her out. Um, as you can see right here, it is leaking a little bit. That's where the little hole is. Unfortunately, enough to have to replace the boot. So um, what we have to do is first we're gonna remove we're gonna remove these little clamps. Just take a little screwdriver and pry them off. Then we can pull the boot back. And then there should be a little clip inside of here, and we can pull this whole piece off, pull the boot out put the new boot on and we'll go from there. So first we're just gonna go ahead and remove these little clips. There's one. Okay, now that they're both off, you can go ahead and slide the boot back. You have to get a little screwdriver in there. Slide it back. So this side appears it doesn't come off uh, because I think this is an aftermarket axle. Normal OEM Subaru axles, you can just remove the little circlip in here and pull this off. So uh, I'm going to have to take this side off, which I already started. Should be able to reuse this boot, but we pulled it off um, and we're just going to have to remove the little clip in there and pull the bearings out and then we can pull this side off. Okay, now we got a little better view in here. Pretty crazy, huh? All right, so once you get this end off, um, you're gonna have a little sir clip right at the end of where these ball bearings sit. So we're just gonna pop that sir clip off and then 
We can start taking the boots off. Oh, well, that's gone. Now we should be able to pull this guy off, just like that. And we can start pulling the boots off. So we'll take this one off first. Just like that. And then we can pull this one down. So now that we have both boots off, we can take our new boot and we can go and slide this on here. So we do have uh, two bags of grease. So we're just gonna pack one bag into each side. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this open. And just dump it into the boot. plenty enough so once you have all that in there just go ahead and put the boot up onto the axle just like that make sure you got it pushed on there a good amount of ways so you can clamp it down Once you have the clamp where you want it, and everything's how you want it there, we can go and just tighten the clamp up. And now we can go and do the same thing for the bottom one. Okay, so once you have those two clamps on, it's kind of like that. This side should be good. You can wiggle it around and check for leaks, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, I absolutely hate these clamps. <laughs> you guys can't tell. You can see I'm like freaking terrible at putting them on too, but you know, they're on and they're tight. So shouldn't be leaking anything on this side. Just clean it up a little bit. And now we can move to the other side. So for this side, we're going to do the same thing as how we essentially took it off. So we're going to reuse the same boot because nothing's wrong with it. So we're just gonna slide it on there. Just like that. It should click into place where it's gotta be, but because we gotta get the ball bearings on, I'm just gonna slide it all the way back. We can throw this guy back on. Just kinda slides on to right there. And uh, now these bearings, essentially, they just kinda sit on top, um, but, with my particular axle, this is the only one I was able to get out of here. The other two are still in here, as you can see. So this might be a struggle to put back on, but I think, you know, if we work with it enough, we got it off, so we should be able to get it back on. We just got to get that little clip in there, and they did provide us with a new clip in the kit because I lost ours. So once you get that in there, it should lock in nice and tight. Okay, so those are all back on there. Now what we need to do is somehow get this guy back on there. And that could be, that could be difficult. Um, so I'm just gonna try hitting it from this side, see if we can get it over. If not, we'll have to figure something out, but should be able to get it. Alright, we got one bearing in. Just gotta get the other ones in now. it is all right we're on so a bit difficult but we got her back on so same thing with this we're gonna fill it with grease put the two clamps on and close it shut this one looks a whole lot better than the, the other side 
That one's back on, same way we did this one. Clamps are on a lot cleaner, so happy with that. Got good movement, and uh, yeah, we're ready to throw this thing back in the car. So um, I'm just gonna get my hands cleaned up a little bit. We'll clean up the table, clean up the axle, and then uh, we'll get it back into the transmission, into the hub, and back together. So, okay, a few seconds later, just cleaned up, looks like new, and uh, we're ready to get it back in the car. So, what we gotta do for this, we're gonna put the transmission side in first. Uh, this is the transmission side. This is going in first, and then we gotta try to get this around the hub the same way we took it off, which is gonna be a little tricky, because there's not a lot of room, but, be like try our best we'll get it on there so we're gonna do that real quick and i'll take you guys with me then we just gotta throw the brakes and the wheels back on and we're drivable just like that try not to damage the new boots and now i'm just gonna get underneath and slide it into the trans and then a little tap will lock it in so once that's in there Essentially, just give it a little push, and it'll go right in. Okay, should be it. Just gonna get it in there. Should be all right. Got this slid around back in here. Kind of difficult, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If those clamps start leaking, I'll just have to grab some new clamps, but it is what it is. I hate those things. I'm gonna turn the wheel back straight and we can get the front back together. <laughs> Cars back together. I think I'm probably gonna have to replace the two little clamps because those are a pain in the butt and I can never get them right. Um, but yeah, those are easy enough. I should be able to get them from under the car. Um, but see, look, we're all back together, and uh, I'm gonna go take it for a little test drive. Make sure we're not leaking like crazy or out of places where I don't think it's gonna leak. Um, but yeah. I'll have to make you run to the parts store, grab two new clamps, and uh, we'll try this again. I know this video was kind of jumping around. Sometimes it didn't record, but uh, if it helps you, you know, drop a like. Try my best to explain the best I could while doing this for the first time myself. So um, I did it with one hand. So if I did it with one hand, I'm sure you guys could handle it. But I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>